it's Miss Emily with the Dickinson County Library. I have a fun and easy craft to share with you today. We are going to do clothespin puppets. I have several already made here to show you, but they're very fun and super simple. And the materials you're going to need, you're going to need markers. They don't have to be Sharpies. I just happen to have Sharpies on hand. So in fact, I would go washable if um, I had those here. Uh, you need a pair of scissors. You are going to need clothespins glue, and then if you Google clothespin puppets, lots of different images pop up. These are the ones that I happen to like, and I just printed them off on cardstock because a little bit more durability will make your puppets last longer. I am going to color a unicorn for you today. So I'll do some blue hair. Everybody likes unicorns, right? And it fits really well with our theme. This summer's theme is Imagine Your Story. I would imagine it would be pretty cool to know or have a unicorn. And I would definitely want mine to have blue hair. And let's do, um, oh, I forgot the tail. Definitely need to have a blue tail too. You don't have to be super precise because you're just gonna cut out the outline anyways. Let's give, her purple toenails because you definitely want to be styling and we'll do purple ears too and my favorite color is pink so we'll do a pink horn and maybe we'll make her eye pink too all right, so that's simple. You could you can color certainly more than that if you wanted to, but and then you're just going to cut around the edges. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. We just want it to look pretty nice so that when you play with them, then they'll look exactly how you want. What I liked about those prints that I found was that they had the fantasy animals on there, but I know lots of you like dinosaurs. And so the ones that I found had a lot of dinosaurs on them too, and dogs. Everybody likes puppies, I think. And What's nice is because these are little, you can even take them places if you wanted to as well. Or you could make one for your friend or for your brother or sister or for your mom or dad. The next trick is, and this is gonna be a little bit scary maybe, but you wanna find where the mouth of your puppet is and you're going to actually cut right across and you're gonna go all the way across. Looks really funny right now, but that's how we need it to be. So when we take our clothespin, what you're going to do is you're gonna put a little bit of glue. You don't wanna put a ton of glue because otherwise it might glue the clothespin shut. And then you're going to very gently place the head so it's like that. And then you're gonna put your glue on the bottom. And again, it doesn't take a lot. And you wanna line them up as best you can and push a little. And just like that, you're going to let it dry, but it's that simple to make them. We are going to have some kits at the library that you can pick up when you get your curbside services. So if you want one, let us know and you can get one at the Dickinson County Library. Thanks for joining us.